And now, for our presentation, I Hear Death and Death Hears Me, by Adam Parsons and Stephen Cutler. It was a dark, eerie night in the city of New York. The streets were like a ghost town, filled with mist spreading like a disease from the manholes, creating a ghostly atmosphere. Situated in the heart of the city is the home of notorious crime boss Al Tony. Al Tony is average height and his average build. He has stylish, short black hair with a silver streak down the middle. Al Tony would tend to wear a black shirt with a black waistcoat and a black pinstripe suit with a red handkerchief in the top pocket. Along with this, he would wear a wedding ring and a solid gold ring on his index finger. Then, to top off his interior, he would have a cigar either in his hand or mouth on rare occasions. Al Tony's penthouse is a tall building with many glass windows up all four sides. His penthouse has the feeling of a maze due to the amount of rooms inside. He would spend most of his time in his suite at the top of the building, overlooking the city he mostly controls. As Altoni sits at his desk, he appears to have something on his mind. His suite was like any other mob boss's suite. A desk would be situated near the window opposite the door. In front of his desk were two leather sofas opposite each other, separated by a glass table. On the desk was a lamp, a typewriter, and two photos, one of his mother and the other of a mystery woman. As Altoni was typing, he hears a strange voice ring out. This makes him stop suddenly and feel very uncomfortable. I feel like death is following me. Do you know? Are you remembering what you did? Who are you? You're a cold-blooded killer, I told you. You know what will happen to you, don't you? No, you've got it wrong. No one would ever try and take me on. Are you sure? No one would ever get close to me. Don't make me laugh. You got too big, I told you. You know you should pay for what you've done. I don't need to pay for anything. I haven't done anything wrong. Yes, you did. Your crimes. That's all you need to know. I must be going nuts. Just leave me alone. You think you can beat me, but you can't. I'll always beat you. Your time is up, my friend. You can't mess up my mind. Who the hell are you? Let me introduce myself. I'm a private detective. The name's Jimmy Soul. I would say it's a pleasure to finally meet you, but I'd be lying. You made a mock of this city for too long, and it's time for you to finally meet your justice. Now this is where it is a pleasure for me. Taking you to prison is what this city needs. Who do you think you are? You picked the wrong night to start with me, bozo. I can squash you like a bug right now. Wrong night? You make me laugh. If it wasn't my fault you thought you were talking to yourself. I wanted to see what you'd do, and you didn't disappoint. I knew you wouldn't run. You look at danger in the face and kill it. But not anymore. You killed too many innocent people, and I'm here to collect the debt. Oh, I forgot to mention, I was told to take you in by any means necessary. <laughs> That's what you think, my friend. It's time for you to look danger in the face. Like I told you, you picked the wrong knight and the wrong guy to mess with. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs>